I have altered my gym system outside. I changed how my dipping bars were and my push-up bars to make the dipping bars not take up as much room. Look at this angle for push-ups. You can go wide. You can basically have your hands at the bottom or the middle or the top. Wide, medium, narrow. You got dips. You can come in from this side or you can come in from the other side. That bar that's down there is for the to go in here to do it. inverted rows where you're actually doing a push up in reverse where you hang and you pull yourself up to the bar. Those are the different levels I use to put that bar on to do it. And you got the chins up here. And I got this soulless block I use. Yes, yeah, stretch the soulless muscle, yes. Soulless. Toe. Put your knee over the front of your foot and keep your heel down. And stay in this position for like a minute. And it stretch the soulless. It lies under the... It's like under the shin. It's not the gastrocnemius. It's not that muscle. It's the one underneath. That muscle pumps as much blood as the heart. From the legs to the heart. It is actually referred to as the second heart. It's pitiful that society is not told this. It really is. Do that twice a day for a minute aside. That's what I'm doing, man. That, it made so much difference stretching that muscle when I started doing it. I could tell in a week. So that's like a minute static for each each solace twice a day. And within a week, it changed the way I was walking. I could feel a difference in my gait. It affects your gait. If that thing gets tight, it causes shin splints and, and plantar fasciitis. That is the source of those problems. And that's never told to people either. No, and I'm not a doctor. No, I'm not a doctor. But it's made such a tremendous difference. All the calf work I used to do. I would do 20 sets of calves every day. Different exercises every day. Plus doing a stair climb like, like neurotic. And never stretching that muscle that way. Standing on a block is not stretching the solace. It has to be. It has to be like that. It's like a three or four inch block. Heel on the ground. Knee over the front of foot and just hold that position. It'll actually, that'll actually bring your blood pressure down. Yeah. It brings the blood down there. When you get on your toes, it does the complete opposite. So it's doing the opposite of that. It's, it's helped, it's helped my uh, lower back and everything because the tighter it gets, the more it destabilizes your lower body your back and everything. Yeah, I learned quite a bit. It's made such a difference that I haven't done any weight training for my calves directly since I noticed that. All the only direct work they get is from walking and, and I stretch them doing this and that's it. So it's made that big of a difference. Have a good one.